Contributor Jonathan Cott made it onto Fox News where he was able to brutally torch Trump before the host quickly rushed to end the segment and get him off air as to not reveal any more information. And just to provide a tad bit of context as to what he was saying, because they try to largely discredit it, even though it was absolutely truthful, Donald Trump had dinner with Kanye West and influencer Nick Fuentes when he was president. Ye himself is quite the anti-Semite. You can check the long list of remarks he's made in that regard. But Fuentes specifically is someone who openly simps for Hitler and Nazis on his channel and just largely abroad. He says derogatory and inflammatory things about well, not, not even just the Jewish population, but other minority groups as well. And it's just this openly disgusting and vile figure of whom Trump allowed in the White House to have dinner with him and Kanye. And before MAGA says, well, it was yay that brought him, so blame him. For one, the president should absolutely vet everyone who gets brought into the White House. I mean, what if Ye brought a Russian or Chinese spy? Would that also be okay then too when they got like classified information or the, the look and the whereabouts of how the White House was made up? And two, Ye himself has pledged allegiance to Hitler, saying that he loves him and all that crazy nonsense. So it's not like he's much better. And here is Jonathan Cott destroying Trump for exactly this. Say this, I would rather have a president who maybe has a stutter once in a while than one who spews conspiracy theory, racist nonsense, and has dinner with Nazis. So if given oh. the choice between one or the other, mm -hmm. I'm happy that Joe Biden might might misspeak once in a while when he's trying to name a president oh. of a foreign country. Well, nobody country, has ever picked but, on him for his speech impediment. I mean, I have relatives who stutter. That's not I, the issue. I, it's I the have acuity a lisp and, issue. Yeah. Real quickly, Tammy. Well, we just heard him call a number of Republicans Nazis and racists, so I think we can well, uh, put him on. in I the category of willing to go there. I didn't call but that's, Republicans. But that's, hold no, on. I didn't call no, Republicans not, hold on. Nazis. That is a tactic he had dinner that is with not going to work, and the American people with don't like Nazi. it, and they are taking it personally. Tam Look Tammy, at these numbers. Tammy, it's not going to work. exactly what I said. Okay. Okay. Had I'm going to have to let you both go. I had even said I had never heard you talk like that, and look, five seconds later, I was wrong. Desperation. I think it's just hilarious how the host is like, wow. We only even had you on because we've never heard you openly go at Trump this hard before. I can't believe the first time you decided to do it was on our propaganda show. And for those of you familiar with the mansion clip or just thinking to yourselves, like, where have I seen this guy before? Yes, Cott is the dirtbag who pushed over the climate activist that came into one of Joe Manchin's meetings. So he also is pretty morally questionable, but still spot on here. In my opinion, Trump had dinner with two Nazis, if not one Nazi and one clear anti-Semite. People love to give Kanye all this grace for what he says and does for some reason, maybe because there's like a bit of a humorous effect to it or because he's famous and makes music, but he should also definitely be held accountable for his dangerous rhetoric and actions. And then the other Republican contributor says, oh, you're calling all Republicans Nazis, trying to generalize it so the Republican watchers feel attacked and aren't as receptive to the information that Ka is trying to relay here, even though he never said it was all Republican. She did. She's the one drawing that comparison. So they should be mad at her. But I digress. You know, his response was really perfect. I, too, would rather have the president that stutters than the one who has dinner with Nazis and anti-Semites. And it's not like Trump doesn't also mess up when he's speaking as well. But one is clearly also morally compromised. And it's just hilarious watching Fox News and the host malfunction when somebody comes on and really just digs into him for exactly that and calls it as it is for the failed former president. They have to just rush the in the segment early and get him off air at all stops. I, I would also rather have the president who mistakes the name of foreign leaders sometimes rather than the one who tried to overthrow democracy. Would rather have the one who walks the wrong way a time or two rather than somebody who lies with almost everything they're saying to rise to power. You know who else did that? Hitler. Hitler did that. Someone who fear mongers about migrant crime, but has then committed a lot of the crimes they're saying those migrants will commit. It's hard to listen to somebody who is liable for sexual assault, 
warn you about sexual assault. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.